it's been reported that actress Kate Winslet and her director husband Sam Mendes have split up after seven years. They've released a statement saying the split is entirely amicable. It's reported that a source close to Mendes has allegedly shed some light on the breakup. They claim that he became bored working on his latest theatrical project and he took that boredom home with him and that led to the spark being taken out of their marriage. Now obviously we don't know if that's true but how do we keep boredom at bay in our own lives? You've, you've got a pretty low boredom threshold, haven't you, Denise? Oh, is it me first? Yes, please. Sorry, I was so bored with that instruction. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're funny. <laughs> um, no, I do, I do have a very low boredom threshold, and to the point that I just annoy myself with it. I mean, on the odd occasion that I'm doing, say, household chores, <laughs> I find myself vacuuming, but then I think of something else I've got to do, and rather than just finish the, the vacuuming, I rush off and do, and, and do that other thing, and my mind's sort of scattered all over the place. So it's, it's really, and, and I find it very, you know, people say about keeping the relationship not, mm. I find all that very difficult, because I think that I'm always looking for the grass to be greener in all areas of my life, and it's got me into some, into some problems. But don't you think that um, there's no such thing as being bored? You could just be a boring person. Yes, there is. But that's why I started drinking again, because, because, <laughs> because all my friends were boring. Yeah, but you're very boring when you drink. Of course I am, but I'm not bored. <laughs> <laughs> so it's so, a selfish boredom. It's yeah, selfish yeah. boredom. But I, I do get that boredom and monop monotony and tedium are, are different things, but actual, when children say, I'm bored, it's like a drug now that you have to fill in every single second of their lives. Mm -hmm. It's like winding them up and winding them up so that they can't be on their own. They have to have outside stimulus all the time. And that's frightening, actually, because the more you feed that, supposedly, I'm bored, when, they, when, they, when it stops, mm. they're lost. And also, and being, but being bored isn't just being inactive. I mean, my friends will, will, t will tell you, well, you know, that naturally I'm quite a lazy person, so I actually could do three days in bed under a duvet reading and watching yeah, well, television that's... because I am not bored at that moment so it doesn't so it's not like I don't just sometimes like like inactivity in my life because sometimes it's so chaotic. Yeah but if you if you if you're in a relationship and you have a boring job now by boring I would have thought basically you know people do have to tedium we all done things that you have to do day in day out when you take that home with you and therefore and take it out on your other half in a, in a sense you can understand it but there is a point where you've got to then say to your other half listen I, I'm, I'm fed up with that, but I'm not fed up with you, you know, and, 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 re, and replace mm. that boredom. But I think all of us probably else. chose this industry as well because you're constantly moving and being, and being, being stimulated. Well, Colleen, if I can ask you, you know, what, you and Ray, obviously, you, you've, been, you've been married for how many years now? Four, four years, something like that. We've been, been together for a wee while. <laughs> how, how do you keep the boredom out of your marriage? How do you keep things fresh? I don't know, Andrea. How do you? I don't know. Uh, no. <laughs> I was asking for notes. <laughs> I think it is very difficult when you're both leading in at certain times completely separate lives mm -hmm. and of course you know I, I'm down here and I'm with all of you and it, you know I'm just me when I'm here I haven't got the household chores or the kids or whatever mm -hmm. and so I get home all full of it and of course he's he's been doing the you know proper jobs at home and all of that and sometimes there is that issue of well I'm glad you're having a good time because I'm bored out my head and I think you have to be very aware of that and very careful of that but I, he's pretty good because he's got the love of his life which is his guitar so as long as he's I got... I thought you were going to say Kira. No. No, <laughs> no it's, it's guitar Kira and I come after the two cocker spaniels somewhere but, um, but you know so he's got a hobby as such as yeah. well as his career he's got that hobby so he can keep... but I find that a lot of people that go I'm bored are actually bored in their own company which I find really strange mm -hmm. because I'm not bored in my own company if I've, if I've got days at home and, you know, the boys aren't there, Kira's at school, and I'm hanging around. I'm absolutely fine with that. But I get more bored in our industry, like, if we were doing... If I was in something that was long-running, I get very bored. Mm. You know, you like a, eight be shows a week type You can also show. be unrealistic about your relationship as well, because, obviously, I've just read this really... Tony Parsons novel which was just fantastic which is about that that this guy is is always seeking happiness because it be, because he's always looking for the green, for the greener grass because obviously in any relationship it's not going to be that zzz, yeah, but all, that's what all I'm the saying, time but you, there is a point where you have to come to McGuffin. be realistic don't you and say mm. life isn't like that so there's no good going around being bored all the time get over yourselves get out there and get on with it basically mm. okay Denise. which is which is what we're going to do now <laughs> uh, hopefully 